and gentlemen, I was this close to being done with wrestling. Like, yeah, I was very, very pissed off at the company for the way that they were treating the fans. I was pissed off that Daniel Bryan was not fighting for the belt. I thought that was very insulting to us fans after we pay our money. I thought it was too obvious that they were against us, that they didn't care about what we think, blah, blah, blah. I checked my account this morning. I got a comment telling me that Brian was going to fight for a world title at Mania. So, I'm back, motherfuckers. I am back. I was very angry, but this makes everything right. Uh, so yeah, not gonna watch TNA though. <laughs> totally done with TNA, I don't give a fuck if Bobby Lashley's there, fuck him. Okay, I'm gonna just wait until they die and I'm gonna make a vid about how TNA is dead. And with that said, it is time for your late, out of date, raw review. It started off with Stephanie McMahon doing some kind of apology, a fake apology. And she wanted Daniel Bryan to apologize to them because he beat up Triple H or whatever. Then we had Hulk Hogan. Get the network, brother. I slammed Andre, dude. You can relive that on the network, brother. It was okay to see Hogan there. But then John Cena came out. And it was Hogan try, trying to help out Cena to try to give him some cheers. You know, Cena doing the pose down. So <laughs> Hogan. Oh, fucking sad. Why must they do this? They know he sucks. Enough with the brainwash. The fans know he sucks. You know, the power of Hulkamania might be able to get us to order networks. Sadly, I can't because I live in fucking Canada. But um, the power of Hulkamania cannot make us cheer for Cena. We might cheer for Cena if he goes like this with Hogan. But once Hogan's gone, if Cena does this by himself, people are going to throw cans of soup in the fucking ring, get him right in the fucking face. Humiliating, humiliating, totally weird to do this Cena crap, all that to promote a guy that sucks. Then the Wyatts come, that come out, it's a standoff, Hulk and Cena in the ring. I wanted Hogan to throw some shots, brother. We're gonna have to pay 70 bucks here in Canada, 10 bucks in the US, to see Hogan throw some punches, bro. It's gonna be 70 bucks well spent, I tell you what. Then it was Cena against Eric Rowan. Hogan was in this corner. Um, match was just troll away garbage, basically. Eric Rowan got rolled up for the win. He always loses the same way, Eric Rowan. As soon as he's on his back, he's fucked. He's like a big turtle. And he's dressed like a turtle as well. As soon as he's on his back, he freezes. <laughs> then he gets beat, so... Same old shit there. Um, second match, the Usos defeated Ryback and Curtis Axel. Match was just throwaway boring crap, but the Uso, uh, the Usos, the Outlaws were very funny on commentary, giving excuses why they lost to the Usos and shit. Third match, Big E defeated Jack Swagger because of interference from Cesaro. Swagger was giving shit to Cesaro. He got rolled up and pinned, so afterwards they were face-to-face, -face, Cesaro and Swagger. They were forced to shake hands. Then Cesaro started squeezing his hand, and Swagger started yelling, Let go! Let go! 
was funny, so match sucked, but that part was funny. Then we had The Undertaker and Paul Heyman. Heyman was doing most of the talking. Taker just stood there looking all, you know, movie-ish, epic, like a real evil, cool dude or whatever. Looked very cool, Taker. Heyman was cutting the promo, I guess, to try to scare him. Taker said something cool there about the unknown or something. And a lot of suffering, a very good segment. Pretty cool segment. Fourth match, The Shield, um, Seth Rollins, and uh, Roman Reigns defeated the Rhodes Brothers. Um, it was a pretty good match overall, so. This was set up by Kane, because Kane wants them to prove themselves or something. Roman Reigns got in his face before the match, so I don't know if there's going to be some type of Kane against Shield feud. I don't know. Um, I thought they, were, they would be split up by now, but maybe they have other ideas. I don't know. Fifth match, the Bellas defeated AJ and Tamina. Who gave a fuck? Nobody! Then we had the Daniel Bryan Occupy Raw segment. What a thing of beauty this was. And that is how you promote a fucking t-shirt. 50 guys in a ring wearing Daniel Bryan t-shirts. So that's what I'm fucking talking about. I made a vid like a month ago on my other page that is now dead. Um, talking about how they only promote the Cena shirts. And that is how you fucking promote a t-shirt. Not just a gray piece of trash that they never promote, so... This is like a sign that they're gonna use Brian for real. As a top, top guy if they're going all out to promote the shirts. Anyway, Triple H comes out. He tells those guys to leave the ring. Brian says he's gonna leave if he gets his match against Triple H. Triple H agrees to the match because he's all raging and shit. And then Brian says, if I beat you, you put me in the main event for the world title. And Triple H said, yes, yes, yes. That is wrestling. That is beautiful. They had me fucking sucked in. I was so pissed off at Triple H. And now everything... Is just sexy. It's beautiful. It's amazing. When wrestling is done right, it is the best form of entertainment on the planet. Yes, they piss me the fuck off a lot. It's because I know that it can be good. I've seen good wrestling my whole life. So when they do crap like they've done the last three, four years, that's a good reason to get pissed off. But Recently, the product has been really good. I wanted to quit watching because of the Brian shit, but like I said, they pulled me back in. That was a godlike move by WWE. Beautiful. Now I can't wait to watch Mania. Very good segment overall. Then we had Sheamus defeating Christian in the Memphis Street Fight. Surprisingly, it was a pretty good match. Well, not good, good, but it was decent enough there. Almost good. Um, during commentary, JBL was saying that somebody must have, you know, allowed Brian to, to get in the ring with all the fans and stuff. This makes me think of Vince McMahon. Maybe it's Vince McMahon that's gonna appear at Mania to help Brian. You understand what I mean? Like if McMahon is behind Brian the whole time and, you know, he's gonna help him win a fucking title. In the main event, Brian and the Big Show defeated Batista and Orton. Pretty okay match there, pretty good match for Brian beating the two A-plus jobbers or whatever. Overall, I think Raw was great, and I am back, alright, I'm back. 
Um, you're going to get wrestling vids on this page and a whole bunch of other shit. Going to make a vid about that in the future there, but I love wrestling. Try to get out of it. We all try to get out of it when we get pissed off there, but God damn it, I'm back, people. I'm back, and I love it more than ever. The product's fucking good recently. Was just very pissed off with the Brian shit, because they sucked me in. I fell for the storyline or whatever. Because wrestling is fucking good. If they can do this, then they still got it. Until next time, peace.